there's a really quick way of doing this question and there's a much slower way which is actually how I did it so I'm I'm going to tell you the efficient way um, to start with if that makes sense. So if beta removes every six tile then that means that after removing them there's going to be five six left so it's going to be five six of 2022. But I'm not going to work that out straight away I'm just going to go straight into the next calculation. Carla removes every fifth tile so that means there'll be four fifths of whatever there was uh, left after that. So we're going to times the remaining amounts here by four fifths. And then Doris removes every fourth tile, so there'll be three quarters left. So we can just set up this little calculation. But rather than figuring it all out, multiplying it out together, I can actually cancel lots of these things out. So I can cancel out the fives. So if I times by five and divide by five, then nothing's happened. And the same with the fours. Three over six is just a half, so I'm actually finding a half of 2022. See how quick that is? So the answer is D. Now, I did not see to do that. I don't know, it just seems obvious now, but I, when I did it, I just did it the long way. I actually did sixes into 2022, and then I subtracted it. So sixes into 20 go three, remainder two, then three again, then four, three, three, seven. And then I, uh, yeah, took the 2022. I could, of course, I could have times that by five, but I actually minus three, three, seven from it. I just did some subtraction, so 1685, and then I did fives into that. Three, three, seven again, so I subtracted it. I will talk more about that in a minute, why they are the same thing. So one, three, four, eight, and then finally fours into that. Three, three, seven again. Okay, and that gives us that 1011 as before. Now, why do we get three, three, seven each time? Of course, we have to because we basically have split the tiles into these little groups of six. And when we take uh, one sixth of them away, we were taking away 337 and we're left with these fives. So of course, we then take a fifth away. It's a it's like it's still one sixth of the original amount. So it's another 337. And then when we take a quarter away from the rest, it is still one sixth of the original. So again, 337. So we could have done this question by realizing it like that, timesing those to, uh, by three, the three, three, seven times three, which gives a thousand eleven, or even realizing that, of course, that is half of them, and so the rest is also going to be a thousand eleven. So, three different ways to sort of think about it. I did it the long way. I wouldn't recommend it. This way is really good. This way is is quite nice as well. If you just you know if you just realize that one sixth of three, three, seven, and all the rest are equal to that, then you can get the answer quite quickly too.